Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm supposed to say and everything now so we don't do it later. Yeah, get okay. out of your system, anything that, you know. You know, I did a 42 hour shift once and that was brutal. And it was the loudest film in history. Don't put that in the internet, because I don't want anyone to find out which film I'll get in trouble. <laughs> Worked on Empire Strikes Back, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, Turn of the Jedi. In the last 41 years, that's one thing that's never changed. It's, we're out of time, we're out of budget. So our job is to do the very best with what we have to work with. And the tools that we have these days have never been better to allow us to clean up tracks, to utilize as much of the production as possible and do things quickly and efficiently. It had always been a problem on set when you've got multiple microphones and you play them together, they're not exactly phase aligned and sometimes you get some weird digital phasey artifacting when you play them together or certain things will cancel out, all the low end will go away. I saw Autoline Post use multiple microphones and phase line and I go, wow, this is the greatest thing ever. I've encouraged everybody to start using it. And I'm very excited for everyone to have the new version because it's it. They became across an issue where occasionally if, if the guy on set did something with a filter on one of the microphones, you add them together and a lot of the bassiness and the warmth of the, the combined signal would go away. So then they figured this out. I think it was Marty Humphrey up at, at the dub stage who found it first. What's going on here? So uh, we did a little research and there's a thing called phase rotation, which has, uh, it, depending on how it uh, works between the boom and the lav, can work against you. And then they came up with a, a, a fix to the plug-in that would phase align the low end so that cancellation wouldn't happen. And it's a dramatic improvement. And uh, I'm incredibly happy with what the new tool provides. It doesn't just move the entire clip this way or that way, but it, re it, it reads through the entire length of it and every millisecond is put into place. This is a tool that allows us to take sometimes two mediocre signals and make them one exceptional signal. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's magic. <laughs> if you can improve a track with a couple of keystrokes and it sounds that much better, I'm all for it. And that truly is what it does. It's that simple, but the end result is that effective. <laughs>